The state of unemployment in the country today is said to be at an alarming rate, with over a million graduates expelled into the workforce each year, and yet no room for employment by organizations, thereby leading to more unemployed youth roaming the streets looking for means of survival. In light of this, the Lagos state government has set up measures and platforms by which residents of the state can partake in the grants being given by the state government in bringing their inner skills and intellect into existence. The chairperson of the Lagos State Employment Trust Fund, Bola Adishola, noted that various residents can key into the program and benefit from the initiative as the government continually prefers solutions to eradicating unemployment in the state. In Lagos specifically, the unemployment rate of 37.1.14 was higher than the national average and making it the first time in a decade that the state's unemployment rate surpassed that of the country. And indeed that was very worrisome for us on the board because it was almost like being on a hamster wheel where you're in all motion and no movement. But as we all know, just by virtue of the stature and status of Lagos, we are almost importing unemployment with tens of people coming into Lagos every day seeking for jobs. In addition, the surge in crime and the resultant insecurity challenges due to the lack of jobs and gainful employment of our youth has shown that our collective prosperity as a state depends on how well we can sustainably create jobs and keep our teeming population creatively engaged. The number one citizen of the state, Governor Babajide Sonwalu, noted ways by which the government has helped in the area of poverty eradication, encouraging all the residents of the state to join hands in the total eradication of the menace as Lagos is being considered to many as a land of multiple opportunities. We know what the security challenges are in other parts of the country, and we do not have a border force, we do not have a visa regime, you know, but Lagos continues to remain home to people that truly, really want to seize the opportunity that it presents itself. It's not um, just listening to the story of Esther in Kurudu or Mr. Folabi, who is, a, who is a printer. There are several, several, several of them who have used opportunity like LESDF has presented. And when I don't even have the opportunity, but they continue to push to ensure that we can reduce the 37, the 42 numbers that the IFC keeps telling us that the World Bank but we continue to remain as a very strong and resilient city called Lagos State. We're fully aware of the need for us to create jobs, to create good jobs, to create high paying jobs, and to create opportunity for our citizens. That's why we're here today. Particularly, when we look at the challenge of our country, they say five million people join the labor force every year. It sounds like a cliche. But we also know that everybody says that our people is always our greatest asset. So how do we turn that seemingly difficult access, how do we turn it to our own assets as a nation and as a people? And that's why we need to continue to charge ourselves. We need to continue to ensure that our teaming youth that are full of energy, have ideas, have ambition, have a belief, have something to look forward to. All the dignitaries gave their words on the importance of the initiative and upped more on the ways it can uplift citizens, especially Lagosians, out of poverty. The unemployment rate in the state stands at 37.3, with youth unemployment about 42.5%. Resolving these challenges on a sustainable basis requires deep thinking, collaboration, and consultation with stakeholders to evolve ideas, policies, and initiatives, which, when acted upon, should see us through and over. There's need for a systemic approach to our skills intervention, where we get data from the private sector, the public sector, and we feed it into a data system that provides intervention, strategic intervention information to both government and private sector. We are doing that with the direction of the Ministry of Economic Planning and Budgeting, a labor market information system. With these empowerment programs,
it's hoped that the total eradication of poverty will be achieved, thereby leading to the reduction of unemployment and the increase in job creations. From Lagos, Emmanuel Ulubububu, Captain Television.